Hey everyone, Sly47 here. Welcome to Push Yourself, a new series on this channel covering key concepts that will help push a player's skills from average to good to great. Today I thought we'd start with AP versus HE. It's an age old debate. So I'm gonna go through a bit of don'ts, a few do's with video in the background, and then of course, gonna go over a general rule that I have to help out kind of summarize and make it pretty easy for players to learn and grow from. Of course, this is very simplistic, so veterans understand. Love your comments down below on what your rule is or maybe some more specific rules for certain ships to help guide the players and go a little bit more complex if they want to. And then, of course, I've got some testing video to kind of show you where I came from and why I came to the conclusions that I did. But let's first go into what you shouldn't do. Let me preface before we get into this gameplay right here. First off, this is actually an old replay. Some of you have seen it, but there is a significant moment here that basically made me go. I, I need to cover AP versus HE almost immediately, but also I need to make sure everyone knows that this is meant to be a teaching moment, meant to be educational. You can let the players know if they were in the video, but please do not do any harassment. Do not do anything being a dick here. Okay, we're all trying to become better players. That's what this whole series is about. So let's keep it civil and let's get into replay. Now, the specific reason why I wanted to cover this section specifically of this battle is we have two Worcesters, both making key critical mistakes. Now, they're also both shooting both shell types, HE versus AP. Ragnar shooting HE while Spot's firing AP. But Spot's going to make a key critical problem that prevents the AP from showing up how nasty it is at close range. And we'll watch as the shells go. Ragnar, of course, setting a fire off the bat, doing what HE does. This entire line's known for its HE. But the shots from Spot are hitting the midship, the belt armor of the Worcester, which, of course, for these caliber of guns, is not gonna penetrate as well. It's not where you're able to absolutely pen. So as we keep on going through this battle, you're actually seeing a correction from spot. Once again, belt armor hit. HE is doing its consistent damage. Consistent damage is consistent damage right there. There's a correction from spot. You're seeing a lot more damage, if not more than the HE is doing on a, on a considerable salvo. And then finally, perfect salvo right here just goes straight frontal hit right into the bow. The bow and the stern, stern have less armor then the midship, and that is where the AP, especially with so many guns, so many small guns of the Worcester, the AP becomes nasty at close range. That's exactly why you want to use it. Unfortunately for us, and unfortunately for Spot, they just weren't shooting the right position right here, and the consistent damage that HE is doing from Ragnar, and the additional health that Ragnar has, is going to let Ragnar win this game. And this, I, I found this as a perfect example of why, you know, yes, you could be doing the right thing, but you still will lose if you don't use it right. To add another example, a while back on stream, Alistair and I had a little bit of a disagreement of whether or not the Azuma or the Yoshino was better. Now, of course, they're basically very similar ships, except one has torpedoes and one's tier 10 with a little bit of buffs here and there. But specifically, I want to have you all watch the shell types we use and just see the difference in the firepower. Now, specifically, I wanted to add this in because these are two supercruisers, much larger caliber guns, and also much better armor for the situation. So if, instead of small guns, let's cover the large caliber guns. I'll see you right after this clip. Dude, we haven't even seen each other yet. <laughs> nope. Alive, Mr. Precise aim activated. Fast reload. Good Nice shot. 
Cracked a main gun off of me. Wow, that was an interesting one. Can't say I saw that one coming. GG, Sly. GG. Crack another man gun off. Nice one. Yeah, it's you're using HE. If you if we go again, you go AP. It actually might be a competition. Now that was only the first fight of two. The second fight it was a lot closer. I actually ended up losing in the Yoshino, and that just goes to a testament of how good Alistair is as a player. But we both ended up agreeing that pretty much, yeah, the Yoshino would generally win, but. At that point, it's starting to get between how good a player is, how good the shot is, how the RNG goes, where your shells land and everything. So in the end, as you can tell from that first clip, the AP was significantly better than the HE. And then when it goes to AP, now it's all up to the player and exactly the RNG chance behind them. Now in this next clip that I have, it combines a bunch of information. And actually, I'm just going to let pass fly because this exact subject comes up and I talk about it. So... Go to pass the lie. Sorry, dude. No, it's alright. Out of time to run from Roma. Nope, we're going in. Oh. <laughs> 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 that, was that. that was awesome. We're no, we're going in. Well, so the, no, I'm literally showing people exactly how you want to play the Baird. So you're now getting close enough, you can use your AP and just start walloping them. So, and then of course, if they don't turn. So done. There we go. go. This is the exact same way with uh, CLs on Americans. Sometimes you just got to almost death spiral in. Similar to that of the uh, German battleships, is just going with AP and you will annihilate things. So, and I'm mad at yeah. probably. Yeah. Yep. So, don't be afraid of getting close to BBs. Just don't show them full broadside. And then also try to perpendicular attack if you can, especially if you have torps. You know, which means that you can maximize your DPM on that type of thing. So, um, same, actually, you can do that actually with the Admiral Hipper because you do have the uh, torps. So, and then I will sink you. Okay. Yeah, Worcester AP is nasty. Absolutely. Pig Bay. 100%, and I undershot or overshot them. Oh, he's aiming at me! <laughs> Yep, so if I had another speed boost. Ooh, three fires. So, typically my whole idea is after seven kilometers, when you are in a HE fire throwing ship, you start slinging AP. Because then you're accurate enough, you've got the correct thing, but I'm just going to burn them out, I feel. That kind of seems fun, right? Oh, yeah, especially when I got that rapid reload, let's, let's annihilate them. And of course, fire short chuck the torpedoes just in case he decides to turn. And that's how you play the Bayard. Peace. Oh, Austin! <laughs> So now that you've seen the examples, let's break everything down per ship type, but also a general rule that I have that you should be thinking about when an enemy passes that particular line. And for me, that's seven kilometers. At seven kilometers, all ships should generally think, should I switch? Now, of course, this is going to be dependent on how much armor the enemy ship has or how not enough armor the enemy ship has, everything like that. But for the general rule, at seven kilometers, especially for newer players, Start thinking, should I switch? Should I change it up? Because at that range, you start becoming accurate enough, you can actually hit the bow and the stern well enough to maximize that chunking ability that AP has to the enemy health versus the HEs just capable of catching fire and burning a target slowly to death. Where at range, you can do that, but at, at closer range, that AP is going to do significantly more damage to the target. But let's go into each ship type specifically. No particular for those mains out there, those specifically main one type or not. So on battleships, you're going to want to use 
H E on DDs pretty much all the time, AP on others. Now, of course, there is pretty much only one outlier in this position, and at least in my opinion, that is the HMS battleships, where actually I just recently learned this from Soulfire, that actually at 10 kilometers and further, you want to be shooting HE, but 10 kilometers and in on non-DD targets, definitely use AP. It's an absolute monster. It's changed my capability of doing damage in that line so much more, and that might help you do a little bit more damage with the HMS battleship line, but that's pretty much the only thing. This is the general rule of, of thumb on battleships. Now on DDs, it's pretty much at seven kilometers all should switch over to AP. Except for the Z-52 because the Z-52 only should be running AP anyways. So yeah, generally at seven kilometers, all DDs should be switching over to AP. It is a consistent more damage in that range than HE will ever provide you. So just, yeah, just use that. But let's get to cruisers. <laughs> It's a little bit more complicated because, of course, cruisers come in a lot of varieties. So with cruisers, specifically under 155, so of course you're talking about the 120s, 127s, everything with that, and even 155s in general, at around that 6 to 7 kilometer range, you're generally going to want to switch. There's pretty much no exceptions to that. I say 6 just because there's certain cruisers that the arc is just still that bad especially the light cruiser lines at times that sometimes if you're not that good at aiming in them get a little bit closer before you can maximize your ap usage now pretty much your 155s 180s at that seven kilometer range follow that rule you'll actually find even the fire starting ships like the light cruisers from the russians just their ap actually is just disgusting at close range of how accurate it is you're able to place a full salvo and chunk off a good bit of health every single few seconds now for 203s this is dependent on the ship but generally between seven and nine kilometers you want to make that switch i say seven to nine because there's a few flat shooting 203s that are actually incredible uh with he at that range even with that so generally you're going to want to play around that range for greater than 203 guns specifically you're only going to want to shoot he on dds and ap on pretty much everything else that he at greater than 10 kilometers only really applies to the azuma and yoshino classes and obviously only really use he on the goliath but outside of that pretty much just follow the first two rules on the larger than 203s now, of course, this is greatly simplifying this entire system of AP versus HE, but I feel that especially for newer players, this should help guide you in the right direction, and eventually you can make it more complex as you play World of Warships Blitz and become that better player, pushing yourself to the extremes and winning those fights and getting more damage. Now, of course, veterans, in the comments down below, let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know what your general rules, any way to help out newer players or players that are just trying to push themselves to be better. Leave in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation down there. Now, of course, this video is actually a week late because I went very analytical last week, and I, this video, especially if I would have gone into a more complex style of look into AP versus HE and looking at all the wonderful dynamics of all the different ship classes and armor in this game, because yes, there is armor, uh, it would have been a 40 minute video. <laughs> uh, but actually, I'm still going to be adding in that test footage at the end. So if you do want to get a little bit more analytical with me and get a little bit more in, in depth vets or just analytical people, get it in the comments down below. It'll be a fun conversation and maybe it might come into another video at a later point. But of course, this video is just for those newer players or those players that are just trying to improve themselves that one bit more to help win and get more damage. So hopefully you all enjoy this video. Have a good one. Peace. We hit the enemy! Good job! We hit- 
the enemy. Target hit. Nice shot. We hit the enemy. Shot. Nice shot. Good job. Target the hit. enemy. Enemy ship destroyed. job we hit the enemy target hit we hit the enemy enemy ship destroyed Отличный выстрел. Цель поражена. Отпадание. Отличная работа. Попадание. Отличная работа. Отличная работа! Корабль 
Мишель поражена. Отличная работа. Попадание. Give me a Target hit. Good job. Nice shot. We hit the enemy. Good job. Nice 
Hit the enemy! 